everybody. Hopefully you can hear me. I have earbuds in today and I usually do not use them. If you can not hear me, comment so I know. And I'll unplug these bad boys. So, it is Why We Work Wednesday. As soon as Abby hops on, I'm going to be pulling her in with me. Abby is my upline and I cannot wait for her to share her story with you guys. Um, as always, this is going to be her story. It's not a reflection of Rodan and Fields. And everybody works differently and everybody gets different results based on their work. So if you have any questions or you want to check things out for yourself, make sure you hit up Rodan and Fields income disclosure document. Perfect, thank you, Betty. So glad. These headphones, they, they came with my phone. And the other day on the couch, Oliver was sitting on them and John decided to pull them out from underneath him. So I know one of the earbuds doesn't work very well. One of them does work and I was not sure how the microphone was working. So I'm glad everybody can hear me okay. And last week I didn't feel like everyone could hear me okay when I did it. Because I think I was covering it with my hand a little bit. So it's a work in progress. So as soon as Abby hops on, she should be hopping on any minute. She is in Alaska. And as you guys know, I am way far away from Alaska. I am East Coast Canada. So there is a smidge of a time difference. It's actually five hours. So it's only three o'clock in the afternoon there. She has two little guys, so they may be in her video as well. It's hard to say. That's fine. That's what it's all about, right? Being a mom, being at home, making bank at the same time. There she is. Abby, I'm going to try to pull you in. Yay. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you perfect. Okay. I have a movie playing for the boys, so I'm scared there's a little, you know, interference. But let me know if I need to do anything different. No, you're perfect. So, as I mentioned, everybody, this is Abby. She is my dear friend. She is in Alaska, and she is my upline. So, John gave me heck last week for using jargon. Saying that she's my upline means that she's my sponsor. I am under her, <laughs> and she is amazing. I've known her for <laughs> over a year now, and she's been such a blessing in my life. I could not imagine not having her. Oh, well, Abby, thank you. thank you for joining me. Yeah, I'm, I'm like excited and nervous all at the same time. <laughs> I don't know why. Teresa was really nervous too, and that's silly. Yeah. <laughs> Something about <laughs> being interviewed. I think that word itself just kind of carries a connotation that, you know, you're in the hot seat. You could ask me anything you wanted. You are wanted. in the hot seat. Yeah, so bring it on. <laughs> well, I won't ask you anything crazy. I already no, gave I you know. the question, so. <laughs> I know, but I've been trying to not think about it too much. Try to just do it naturally, you know? Yeah. That's perfect. You're a natural awesome. at this stuff anyway. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. So I already introduced you, but why don't you let everyone know a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, I am currently, I am a stay-at-home mom with two awesome little boys, an almost four and almost two-year-old. They keep me on my toes, and right up until we did this live Facebook Live video, I was on my toes cleaning up paint and all kinds of craziness, getting them snacks, turning the movie on, you know, typical daily stuff. I'm sure you're familiar with, Brittany. <laughs> um, but prior to having kids, I, um, I was an accountant by trade. I was working as the director of financial services. trying to expand my career. My husband and I met up in Canada. I'm originally from Canada, um, and we met at college there, and we finished our degrees there, and then we went on to Mississippi to um, his grad school. And kind of my time there, I didn't really know where I belonged, and so I kind of started pursuing a career in accounting, and I got another accounting degree in that, and um, then I went on and got my master's in business and leadership. Um, and this time, when I was doing my master's, we were living in Washington, D.C., and that was kind of the thing. You kind of had to to move ahead in your career, you had to have your master's degree. So it was kind of like this shiny object in front of me. So I got that. But by the time um, I got it, we actually moved to Alaska for my husband's job. 
And so um, at this point in time, we didn't think we could have kids. So I just kind of threw myself into my career and pursued that. And, um, and then surprise, one day I woke up and I found out I was pregnant with my first child and everything changed, everything. Um, although I thought I was going to be a, a business mom for the rest of my life, things life threw me a curveball and not being a stay at home mom because of some postpartum stuff, which I don't know if you want to talk about later or not, but, um, yeah, it really, it really kind of knocked me out. And now I'm kind of going through the process of rediscovering who I am, who I am in Christ and, um, the gifts he's given me. And, um, it's an exciting journey. So that's a little bit about me from Canada. Now I live in Alaska, two kids married, um, what else do you want to know? <laughs> Everything about you. <laughs> Everything. Um, I'm an ambivert. I, um, I don't like to talk about myself. <laughs> and um, I love people. I love people. That's what I'm really learning right now is that I just love, I love investing in people. I love listening to their stories. And that's me. Awesome. <laughs> so let's talk about Rodan and Fields because really yes. that's the whole thing. How did you get started with Rodan and Fields? How did you hear about it? What got you into it? Yeah, well, after we had our first son and I started, I had some significant postpartum depression, anxiety that made me, really made me leave my job because I couldn't function in a traditional work environment. Um, you know, within a week or two, even though I was devastated because we were financially set for two incomes, we, um, we tried to think about what we could do. And around this time, my friend Toby, my, my upline, as um, Brittany explained earlier, he, um, he started posting some before and after pictures on Facebook of um, these transformations of people using this skincare product. Um, I had never seen anything like it. I'd never been interested in skincare before, never, never much of a makeup person or anything. Um, but these pictures were so dramatic that I thought, gosh, if those products really work as good as they show in these pictures, I want to try them and I want to know more about this business. And so um, he and I started talking on Facebook and he asked me if I knew anyone in Canada. And I don't think he realized that I'm Canadian. And so he went on to share that um, Rodan and Fields was going to be getting ready to launch in Canada. And the business mind in me was like, uh, seriously, that just sounds like a really good opportunity. Doctors who created proactive going into a country, I can work in both places. I can stay home with my son and take care of myself. Um, it was just, I mean, it was just almost too good to be true. And so my husband and I talked about it and we basically said, if these products are as good as they, they show, um, we want in. So we ordered a business kit and tried the products for a few weeks to make sure they were what we thought they were and they were. And so that was, um, a little over three years ago, three years ago in October, um, that we jumped in. Amazing. And you hadn't even tried the product yet. No, no. We, um, the great thing was, was that Toby shared with us that the business kits had a 60 day money back guarantee, just like, even if, even if we were just buying the products as a customer. And so it gave us that confidence that, Hey, well, why don't we just buy with the deepest discount? get started with the business kit, try all of the products. We even shared them with my sister-in-law because we wanted to make sure they all worked and, um, and really test drove it. And um, within two or three weeks, we, we were all confident that this was the real deal. So, so yeah, that was our, we jumped right in with the products. Good for you. I did the, well, you know, I did the exact same thing mm -hmm. and it was like the best thing that I ever did. Yep. Like no try before you buy. I was all in. <laughs> why not? I mean, if you can get the deepest discount and the business option at the same time, why not? All with a 60 day money back guarantee. I mean, that's kind of unheard of. So yeah. yeah. Genius. <laughs> so, um, I only have two more questions for you. You're just yeah. banging through these, man. <laughs> I'm a fast what? talker. What? So that's okay. No, but you're, you're not too fast. Good. Okay. I've got a little what guy is... pulling on my shirt. Oh, that's My little okay. guy wants to say hi. This is how we do business, hi, right, Brittany? Brittany? Yep. Yep. All the time. Yeah. Oh, he can't uh, hear me. Oh, that's right. He can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's so okay. Cute. Oh, thanks. He just what you got struggle. for me? Yeah, he does. Hi. When you decided to do this, did you tell anybody other than your husband? And what did everybody think about it? 
When we first started, I didn't tell anybody other than my husband. Um, I was really in the throes of postpartum depression. And so I wasn't really talking to anybody anyways, um, unless it was on Facebook, like with Toby. Like I didn't really, I just couldn't socialize at that point in time in my life, Um, which was a great benefit to this business because it allowed me the opportunity to kind of grow into it. Um, Oh, my son's trying to pull it out. Um, So... um, so yeah, no, my family, when I did finally announce it, my family was very supportive. My parents are both entrepreneurs. Um, so they were, they've been very supportive since the beginning and my brothers and, um, they've been very good. Um, I did have a little pushback. Um, it's funny how for me, my, and this might be opposite for other people. It was like my acquaintances were the ones that kind of pushed back on me and gave me a little hard time. I remember within like my first week of posting that I started a business, a lady messaged me and said something like, Oh, don't do it, Abby. It's a pyramid scheme. You're going to get all caught up in that pyramid scheme. And I couldn't help but laugh because I remembered when I first met her, she was in direct sales. And so anyways, I found it interesting that she was now coming back at me with that. But I talked with her and I explained, listen, I've done my research. These are the doctors. These doctors are smart. And I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm going for it. And I'm so glad I, I didn't listen to those voices and that I took the leap because it's forever changed our lives. Um, so, so yeah, I, I'm very thankful for a very supportive family and a husband that's very supportive as well. Well, getting to that, how has it blessed you guys? What's oh, the gosh. biggest blessing that you have from this and that you've been able to do? Yeah, well, um, I think the the assumed answer would probably be the money because yeah, the money has been great and it's really blown us away at how much we've been able to earn with it. But the thing that I didn't expect, actually, I'm going to say two things that I didn't expect out of this was one, the community, like, and you've experienced this, like the relationships and the friendships that we've built, even just online. I mean, Brittany and I didn't even, you didn't, you and I didn't even meet until um, back in September in person. And we'd already known each other for almost a year. Um, and so just to have that community to support us and encourage us and lift us up is just amazing. And then the other huge unexpected blessing, I have grown so much personally um, through those relationships, but also just in um, stepping out of my comfort zone, um, learning more about myself and what I'm capable of um, that I didn't realize I was capable of. So. Um, sorry, can you hear him? <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> we can still hear you too. Okay. okay. So yeah, the, the unexpected blessing has just been a personal development too. Um, and so, so yeah, those are the big things, but obviously the financial blessing has been huge. We've been able to, um, I, not single handedly, um, because of my income, but because of the income so with my husband's income, we've been able to pay off some debts and, um, uh, well, I'll f- finish renovating our home, um, some things that we really wanted to do. And I don't think we would have been able to do had it not been for that additional income flow. So, so yeah, all kinds of blessings. Wonderful. Well, that, those, those are all the questions I had for you. It's not a very okay. difficult interview. <laughs> no, girl, you, you took it easy on me. So if anybody has any questions, <laughs> I did, I did. If anybody has any questions, feel free to drop us a line in the comments. Abby and I are about to head over yeah. to Instagram to keep this party going. Um, I'm going to ask her the exact <laughs> same questions. So. But maybe. But feel free to come on to us there, too. Hey, Andy. Yeah. She might have different answers. Oh, that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Tune in next week. I don't know who I'm going to have yet, but i got to find somebody. Awesome. And, Thanks for uh, having me, Brittany, on the on the Why We Work Wednesdays. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. Mm-hmm. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah.